Father Gregory Matthews Green is founding pastor and priest emeritus of Holy Cross Antiochian Orthodox Church in Linthicum, Maryland. I was told that Father Gregory sometimes introduces himself as the husband of Frederica Matthews Green. But as you'll see from these videos, Father Gregory has a great deal of pastoral wisdom of his own to share. So I hope you'll enjoy this episode from my interview with Father Gregory Matthews Green. With folks who are interested in becoming Orthodox, I always uh, encourage them to first of all take their time uh, slow down it can be exciting and and indeed should be when people first discover the church and and the fellowship that they can be a part of which extends throughout the ages with the saints and so forth and so on but they really need as much as possible to grasp what they're becoming uh, committed to uh, and that there are commitments and that there's a, a discipline that's part of the church and there's simply no substitute for getting to know that church as much as possible uh, before you join to it so uh, people should uh, uh, participate in the in the life of the church they should attend the worship they should uh, attend the liturgies uh, pray the prayers of the church or read the scripture hopefully according to the uh, daily readings of the church uh, they should uh, partake in the fast, at least uh, to the degree that they can under the guidance of the priests of the local parish. Uh, but all these things, I think, should be done with, with some patience, uh, uh, certainly with some instruction uh, from, from the local pastor or someone that he has assigned. Uh, but, but beyond all of this, I would say that that package uh, needs to include a, a, a length of time. Uh, be patient. Take your time. There's no reason not to. If you were going to marry someone that you had just met, it would be reasonable to say, well, let's let's get to know each other first. Let's spend some weeks and some months and maybe even a couple of years experiencing each other in, under different uh, conditions and different situations. Uh, that's the way God uh, has us unfold the truth of who we are to each other and I think the same thing is true with the church and and uh, the person that's interested in the church as well take your time there are of course things that people need to understand about the church before they come into the church uh, perhaps the one that looms largest would be the fact that orthodoxy is it is transformative of the human person uh, and that sounds theoretical, but it's not. Uh, it takes hold of you. Uh, it's not like uh, joining any other expression of Christianity. It, because it's not an expression of Christianity, it's the very presence of Christ. So it, you have to make sure that you are willing to have your life changed by God in order to come into the Orthodox Church. And that's why we have these periods of uh, inquiry of the catechumenate and and so forth there's a it's as if there's a sort of engagement uh, process uh, a time when uh, you look at the church and you learn about the church and you participate to the level that you can before you actually come into the church in the life of the community uh, then people are brought into the church and and I know this is true for me I suspect it's true for m most people it's not until you're actually in the church, even having gone through that preparation, actually in the church, uh, living the life for months, no, in fact, for years, maybe for decades, that you realize the deep, deep work that God is doing. I mean, he is restoring in you, uh, bringing about the, the presence of the kingdom of God. And it's, it's often painful, it's often difficult, it requires uh, confession, fasting when you don't feel like fasting, uh, prayer when you don't feel like praying. Uh, all of these uh, are the elements, of, and, and, and many others as well, of 
the transformative work of the Holy Spirit in, in the individual who's come into the church. Uh, so I would say th- that's the first thing people need to know is uh, this is no play acting and, and this is no uh, putting on um, some, some show on Sunday that is beautiful and gorgeous and, and exotic. Uh, but this, this, this is truly the work of the Holy Spirit in, in changing each one of us. I love new converts. I love their enthusiasm, their excitement for the church. Uh, their dedication to the church. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's all of that to be said for, for new converts. I was a new convert myself. Um, I'm coming up on um, 18 and a half years in the church, I suppose I'm no longer a new convert. So looking back on that, I would uh, say, based on my own experience and, and now my as a convert, but also my experience with uh, conversions into orthodoxy in my own parish, that uh, we all need to be reminded that that, the, that initial energy and that excitement um, has an end to it at some point. It, it tapers off at some point, and that that's actually a good thing. Uh, and it varies from person to person as to when that may happen. But uh, one, one of the great thinkers of, of uh, not so distant past said, Remember, uh, the swim is not like the dive. You have to both dive and swim to get to the other side of the pool. The dive is exhilarating, it's exciting, there's this big splash. The dive doesn't actually get you to the other side of the pool. It's the swimming. And what is swimming? Well, it's a repetitious, uh, discipline one arm thrown before the other and pull back and then the other arm over and over again until you get to the other side of the pool. That's the goal. In orthodoxy it's somewhat the same. Uh, one's initial conversion can, can be exciting and, and that's good because that sort of provides a certain amount of energy. But After a while the splash is over, the dive is over. It's time to exercise some discipline, one arm before the other, uh, repetitious, day in, day out. But significantly, what you're doing is, in fact, reaching the other side of the pool, reaching the kingdom of God, which is what orthodoxy is all about. It's the presence of that kingdom, but also drawing near to that kingdom, nearer and nearer. That's what I would say to converts, among many other things. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed this episode from my interview with Father Gregory Matthews Green. Please subscribe below to get notified when new videos become available. And if you would, please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this video. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.